And there's an amazing love affair between pilots and aircraft. The tie to a T-28 has to be more than skin deep. Even brand new, she'd never win anybody's beauty contest. This is a really ugly airplane unless you're a grunt in a hole in Vietnam and you see this thing coming over the top shooting at the bad guys. But one reason they call her the beast. You could have the Mark 81s, Mark 82 bombs, the 2.75 rockets, and had the 50 calibers on each side. It was a tank. It still is a tank. Hundreds trained our fighter pilots for faster jets, but after 50 years, just to put one beast back together. I think the inventory we had had about 1,385 pieces that were all there. To call this a scavenger hunt would be an understatement. The tail section came out of Cambodia. Our troops had destroyed it to keep the enemy from getting to it. The engine came out of an aircraft carrier that picked up Alan Shepard, our first man in space. The logbooks and manuals detail it all. Good thing considering Hickson Flight Museum Director Peter O'Hare's vow. We're going to knock this out over two weeks. Trained techs and Vietnam vets, history buffs and amateurs, 80 so far, in shifts around the clock. When you say to people you're going to do something impossible, it attracts people that want to do the impossible. Everybody comes and tries to make that happen. They want to be part of something bigger than themselves. Even putting their names to it on a gear door. For even if, when restored, she never takes wing again. We learned some very hard lessons during those tumultuous times, and the worst thing we want to do is be able to lose those lessons. Maybe she reopens the discussion to help heal Vietnam's wounds still raw and the discourse that we need to have with people to be able to explain to them why did we go through that.